step into the world of a 1944 movie called Kismet. It's a classic film blending comedy, drama, and romance. This movie has many hidden gems waiting to be uncovered. Inside, you'll find funny anecdotes, shocking revelations, and heart-wrenching moments. Keep watching as you'll discover fascinating facts that will leave you amazed. Do you know any lesser-known facts about this movie that fascinate you? Or perhaps you have a special memory associated with it. We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Get ready for a journey through this timeless classic. Join us as we uncover the secrets behind it, where laughter, surprises, and tears await at every turn. Imagine stepping into a world where music and magic intertwine, where every twist of fate leads to unexpected encounters and romantic adventures. Welcome to a cinematic masterpiece from 1944 that continues to captivate audiences with its timeless charm. Set in an enchanting Arabian Nights-inspired setting, this movie transports viewers to a place where destiny weaves its spell and love reigns supreme. In the lively streets of ancient Baghdad, the story unfolds against a backdrop of grand palaces, busy markets, and mysterious alleyways. It's a world where people from all walks of life are drawn into a web of mystery and desire guided by the whims of fate. At the heart of the tale is a humble poet whose lyrical verses hold the power to sway hearts and change destinies. As the plot unravels, viewers are taken on a journey filled with romance, humor, and suspense. From chance encounters in the marketplace to secret meetings in moonlit gardens, every moment is infused with the allure of the exotic East. But beneath the shiny surface lies a story of deceit and redemption, where true love ultimately triumphs over challenges. This movie is more than just entertainment. It's a cultural landmark that reflects the spirit of its time. Released during World War II, it provided audiences with an escape from harsh realities, offering a glimpse into a world of fantasy and enchantment. With its extravagant sets, lavish costumes, and unforgettable musical score, it remains a testament to the power of cinema to transport us to distant lands and ignite our imaginations. So, whether you're a longtime fan or discovering it for the first time, join us on a journey to this mystical world where dreams come true and love knows no bounds. Let yourself be swept away by its timeless magic and immerse yourself in a tale of romance and adventure. During the making of the movie, Barbara Madam Karenska collaborated with Irene on the costumes. Meanwhile, Paramount Studios was filming the Ginger Rogers musical adaptation of Lady in the Dark. Edith Head designed Rogers' modern dress, while Raoul Pien Du Bois handled the circus dream sequences. Mitchell Lysen, the director, contributed creative ideas for sets and costumes. A mink fur skirted gown lined with jewels was too heavy for Rogers to wear comfortably, so Karinska remade it with sequins and a wire hoop to reduce weight. The original gown went to the Smithsonian, while the second was dismantled. A New York Times review critiqued James Craig's portrayal of the Caliph due to his southern accent. Karinska designed Marlene Dietrich's pantaloon costume, using metal rings, which fell apart during filming, prompting Dietrich to paint her legs gold. Unbeknownst to her, the paint posed a health risk due to circulation blockage. In summary, Karinska's costume innovations and Dietrich's improvised solution added memorable elements to the film, despite production challenges and critiques. Actress Gloria Dehaven shared a surprising story from the movie set. While preparing for a musical at MGM Studios, Marlene Dietrich unexpectedly helped wash De Haven's hair one morning. Dietrich's dance in the movie was too sexy for TV, so it was cut from the initial broadcast, but recently added back in. Originally called Oriental Dream to avoid confusion, the movie aired in black and white on TV due to limited color broadcasting. Now, it's occasionally shown in its original Technicolor on Turner Classic Movies. In the 1944 movie Kismet, an uncredited Frank Morgan serves as the narrator introducing the characters and plot at the beginning. Broadway choreographer Jack Cole, although uncredited, meticulously crafted the harem dance routines and Marlene Dietrich's exotic movements for her specialty dance routine. This choreography was replicated for the 1955 MGM musical adaptation. During filming, Dietrich began wearing her now-famous foundation, a flesh-colored nylon body stalking from neck to crotch, which she continued to wear for all public and professional appearances for the rest of her life. The 1944 movie faced a challenge in costuming Marlene Dietrich. Initially, they crafted mesh tights resembling chain mail, a process consuming several hours. Using jeweler's pliers, they closed the links along her back. 
However, upon realization that Dietrich couldn't move within the mesh, they abandoned the idea and opted for gold paint on her legs. Costume designer Karenska, borrowed by Raoul Pien Du Bois at Paramount, undertook the reconstruction of Ginger Rogers' mink for the mink's gown in the 1944 film Lady in the Dark. Interestingly, both films were shot and initially released in Technicolor. The first film adaptation of Kismet emerged from Britain, directed by Liedem Bantock in 1914. Edward Knobloch, the play's original author, was credited for scripting. Bantock, also managing director of British Productions Distribution Zenith Film Company, helmed the production. The 1914 Kismet film marked an early cinematic attempt based on Knobloch's play. The intricacies of Dietrich's costume and Karinska's involvement in the Paramount production add noteworthy aspects to the film's behind-the-scenes history. In the movie Kismet, Irene Lentz is credited as the costume designer, but it was actually Karinska who designed them. Irene brought Karinska from New York City to MGM's Culver City lot to make the costumes. Despite the initial credit, Karinska's designs in the movie are amazing. The film got four Academy Award nominations for Best Cinematography, Best Music, Best Sound, and Best Art Direction, showing the talent behind the scenes. Frances Ramsden started her acting career in this film and left a strong impression on the audience with her performance. The collaboration between Irene and Karinska, along with the great work of the cast and crew, made Kismet a classic movie that still captivates audiences today. It's a proof of the timeless talent of everyone involved in the making of the movie. In the 1944 movie Kismet, Marlene Dietrich's legs were painted with four coats of gold paint and her hair sprinkled with powdered gold for a special dance scene. Another dance sequence was removed from the film and later showed up in the Abbott and Casello comedy Lost in a Harem. The movie is based on a play from 1911, also called Kismet, which inspired two earlier film versions in 1920 and 1930. The 1920 version still exists, but the 1931 is considered lost. This information was, while making the movie Lady in the Dark at Paramount Studios, Ginger Rogers had trouble with her costume. It was too heavy because it was made of mink. Luckily, Karinska, who worked on Kismet, helped out. She fixed the skirt so Rogers could move comfortably. Karinska made sure the weight of the skirt was balanced so Rogers could dance without any problems. Thanks to Karinska, the skirt looked great on screen and helped Rogers perform better. Lady in the Dark was a big deal for Rogers and Du Bois. Despite the costume issue, they worked well together and the movie turned out beautifully. Rogers' acting, along with Du Bois' costume designs, impressed audiences and made them famous in Hollywood. Kismet was a hit play in New York City. It had a great story and characters that people loved. Karinska's work on costumes for Kismet helped her fix Rogers' costume for Lady in the Dark. In movies and theater, teamwork and thinking creatively are important. Karinska fixing Roger's costume shows how people can solve problems together during production.